In the year 1717, Francois Couperon, the court composer of the Sun King Louis XIV and his great-grandson Louis XV of France, composed what is now one of the most famous works for the harpsichord right here in Paris. Now, this is my first time in Paris. So like all tourists, I watched the sun rise over the Eiffel Tower, hiked all the way up to Sacré-Cœur, bought a chandelier at the Louvre, and of course, waited in line to see the king at Versailles. Over the course of this year, I've gone back to some of my favorite places, from Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon, from San Francisco to Beijing. I've also had a number of memorable first experiences too, whether that was hiking in the glaciers of Iceland, strolling in the streets of Mexico City, making magical memories in Harry Potter World in Orlando, or waking up on a boat in the Boston Harbor. And of course, Paris. Even though I've only been here for a week, it is already one of my favorite cities. composed by another Parisian, the great Impressionist master Maurice Ravel. Ravel wrote the suite, Les Tombeaux de Couperon, in the year 1918, both as a tribute to the great Couperon and a dedication to his friends who died as heroes on the battlefield of World War I. 2018 marks the 350th year since the birth of François Couperon and 100 years since the armistice that ended the Great War, which gives both of these pieces a very special meaning this year in particular. A very happy Christmas season to you all, and may 2019 bring you luck and happiness.